Hello, my name is Dylan Little, um, and I'm going to be giving a couple of I'm going to be giving a quick presentation about a couple of different methods that come prepackaged with PHP. Um, these are methods that are played on the array, so you're able to manipulate the array, the array in, um, in a couple of different manners. Um, really quickly, you should know what an array is, but I'm going to hurry and explain the very basics of it just so that you can completely understand how these work. Um, an array is, I, th I like to think of it as a package of things. So in our case, this is an array um, called cars that packages three strings, Volvo, BMW, Toyota. That's all I'm going to say about arrays. Um, as you can see, we're going to be, I'm looping through this array and printing I love cars. So I love Volvo, BMW, Toyota, because those are what are in our array, okay? Um, now I'm going to explain the, the functions uh, that I've been assigned. So the array pop is how it sounds. It pops off the last item within that array. So in our case, it would be um, Toyota, okay? I'm calling the array pop method, and it takes one parameter, and that parameter is the array name okay so in our case it's cars um, and I'm going to be popping off the last item in cars which like I said is Toyota so I'm um, I'm looping through this I love car I love Volvo and I love BMW we've lost the Toyota and that is something about this a pop this pop method is once you popped it off it's gone okay um, you're not gonna bring it back the only way that you could bring it back is by using this array push, but you would have to know what it was that you lost before you popped it off. So, I mean, you can store that item in the um, in a new variable that you're calling this method on, if that makes any sense. Um, and I'll explain that in a little bit more detail in a minute. Okay, so um, now we have our array push. This allows you to push items into this array. So here, the, the array push method takes at least two parameters. In our case, we have three, but um, it takes at least two. And that is, one, the first parameter needs to be the array name, okay? It needs to be the array. The second item is whatever you're putting into that array, and then so on and so forth. So um, we have the array push with the cars array and then we're pushing Audi and Lamborghini onto the end of that array so I'm gonna be I'll print them out I love Volvo I love BMW I love Toyota I love Audi and I love Lamborghini okay so first it pushed the Audi onto the end and then it goes in and it says okay we need to push Lamborghini onto the end of that okay um, and that's how those two methods work so to explain these a little bit more in detail, let me just open up my text editor here. Okay, so I have a couple of different tests that I can show you. Um, so here I, I can, like I said before, I can create a variable called like last item, which will store the, um, the popped item, okay? Um, the, the item that you popped off. So in our case, like I said, Audi. Um, and then I can echo that. Item. All right. So let's see what that looks like. Um, I have this hooked up to my web page. Let's save it. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Um, as you can see, it's printing Audi down here, right? So I took the last item from this array and I placed it in this variable. And as you can see, it's Audi. Um, and also, like I was saying before, if I were to drop that last item and then loop through it, loop through the array, Audi's gone, you've lost it. If I didn't store it in this variable, it would be gone. So that is one caveat that you need to make sure and watch out for so that you're not losing um, array items. All right.
Now for the push, um, like I was saying before, it's pretty simple. Um, you're just pushing the items onto the the array. So if I were to, and I like I said before, I can put a lot on here. So I could put like Jeep, um, and then what's another one like Nissan. So I can have as many as I like, and push those onto my array. And as you can see, they're all on here. Okay, pretty simple, um, pretty easy. As long as you understand arrays, you should be able to understand how these are working. Um, it's just popping off the end and pushing onto the end. Okay.